Two dishes. Now, uh, what I don't normally do is, uh, what people don't normally do is cook um, strawberries with, with chicken or mm. pork or nice. white meat. I, I, found, I cooked a recipe years ago using guinea hen, which is guinea fowl, and it used a strawberry marinade. So we're going to make that quickly here, and then you can get a chance to taste it. Sorry. Strawberries. They smell good, mm. the chances are they Delish. will be good. You go to the supermarket, I will sniff them, and that's fine. In they go. Now, then I'm adding olive oil. In that goes. Mm. It, it goes against all the grain of it what you would normally really use. Does. freaking me right out there. Two garlic. Garlic cloves. Garlic. Onions. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. Um, vinegar, any vinegar, but I'm using balsamic here. Because balsamic get... vinegar and strawberries is an amazing match. Correct, yeah, with it? a little bit of black pepper as well mm. on top of. Mm. Any juice, that's lime juice, lemon juice, whatever you like. Then I put two teaspoons or three teaspoons of Dijon mustard. How strange is this? Yeah. And then finally, if your strawberries aren't particularly full of flavour, I add a little touch of, of strawberry jam to it. Just Sweetness. to bring it. All it does is just brings out the flavour. So and I've tasted these, and these need a little bit. So I'm talking probably something like that. Right. Okay. Okay. And then what you do is you blitz this up, and you get a lovely colour. Okay. Well, I'm not going to go too long because we're a bit short of time, but that's what you get. Yeah. Now and you want it to be pretty liquefied. Do you, you do. You do. And then if you want to push it through a sieve to get the seeds out, then do. Because oh. uh, sometimes a lot of people don't like seeds. Yeah. Well, my mum hates seeds, for instance. Now the only thing other to say is, tarragon. I love tarragon with fish, but also chicken. So if you've got fresh tarragon, it is an acquired flavour. Uh, flavor, I, so, I love tarragon. Uh, oh, it's like sambuca. Yeah, exactly. So you, you can put oh. it in, or you don't have to. Now I don't like chicken wings in, in this sure. pan. Yeah, it's yeah. just it's the zambuca thing. It's quite strong. Mm. So, it's chicken wings. So, here I've got Alice. the wings. So, if you can imagine, this is the wing. So, there's a tip and there's a middle part and there's that goes onto the body. I've taken the tip off and use these two bits here. Okay. Into there. <laughs> and all you do is you cover them in water. Now, you don't have to. You can roast them straight in the oven. The trouble if you're not careful is they tend to dry out and become quite chewy. So, I always poach mine first the stock cube, a little bit of salt and pepper. That way, you're covering two areas. One, it's nice and soft and juicy when you eat it. But secondly, if you put it on a barbecue, you're not, I think, raw. All you're doing is warming it through. Ah. So there's, no, there's not that case of food So you poach them for about 15 for minutes. And then, and then that's when you, you... No, hang on. You come to this one here. Right, so dry okay. them off. Oh, OK. So there they are. And I've chilled these. Yeah. Now, they're not very nice today. No, they don't look no. very nice at all. So what you do is I made a marinade earlier. So... And that's your strawberry That's stuff. a strawberry marinade. Now, this wow. is... If you look, just try a fork, Phil and Holly. A little taste of that, and you can taste it there. I'm just going to yeah. dunk in. And you mix up the chicken like this, and you marinate it for a bit. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, a bit of tarragon. It's really nice. Now, but bear in mind, when you get roasted... Oh, tangy. Yes. So, what you did then is go from that stage into here. Now, I put a bit of marinade on there earlier on, and, and all I'm doing, either roast them or pan-fry them. Cut the marinade back. And what you do, a little bit just there, it, will, it does cook off. Yeah. And then at the end, you just add a little bit more. Marinade goes in. That becomes the dipping sauce. And you just cook these. Look at that lovely jill with the oil. And they will just glaze up. Here's some we did a bit earlier. Oh, yes, now, please. These, now, these have cooled down. So, well, if I put that there... And you make the other thing. Yeah, and then you we'll a little taste, yeah. Now, they, they've, been, they've been left at room temperature just to warm through. And then what you do is you dip it in there again. Mmm. So you just have a nice... But bear in mind, when you do, mm. when you do roast them, they do dry out, Phil. I, I know you like crispy wings, mm. but you need to just poach them first. Yummy. Really nice. I like that. Mm. Nice, isn't it? OK. Here's a great cake, very simple. Here, surface in flour, in it goes. Soft brown sugar. Oh, no. <laughs> Is that his plate for the cake? <laughs> yeah. Almonds. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, you can do what you like. And all you do... Just I'm going in again. Break Me up. too. But the flour and the almonds together like so. In a separate bowl, mm. I've got one egg, mm. one medium egg, olive oil, so no margarine or butter, olive mm. oil, any oil will do, but I quite like them, this, and milk. In it goes, and you just literally break it up with a fork. There's no stuff like to... coconut oil and oil better for you than butter? It depends, it depends, where, you go. It depends where you're going, yeah, that's another, I think that's another debate, but it's it really, a lot of it's individual place. But so, also, that advice. Changes every day. It does, and it can do. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So before we go to a quick recap, I was going to show you this here. In it goes, like so. And all you do with, with a spatula, you know, mm. you just need to just mix this together. Don't overwork it. Uh, you've got a few seconds, but I'll just show you. This is because you're working the gluten and the flour. On this instance, if you overbeat it slightly, it's okay because you've got such an oily sponge to start with. It's it will... all right. Work it. Like, see there. See, just about there. You then pour half of that in. 
Okay, just like that. Okay, Phil. Thank you, Philip. Thank you very much. Because he's sizzling over there. And then, actually, take him off, Phil. Actually, do you know what I couldn't taste? Very Go strong, on. but I've just had a tiny after hint of it. It's the anisidi paragon. Yes, you can. It's not it just overpowering. Kicks in. Yeah, it's nice. It just kicks in. So, basically, strawberries go in like Wallet. that. Okay. You then cover the rest over like so. Don't worry about the flour. Don't worry about that. It's, it'll, it'll find its own way. Bacon. Okay, look at that. You just spread that over. You can be yeah. very brutal with it. Like oh. so. Almonds go on top and then into the oven. an oven. Loads of yeah, loads of almonds. Into the oven for about 25, 35 minutes. It'll come out. Let's go to recap and we can have a taste. Let's okay. have a look. Here we are, Ryland. Can, can I introduce now, look, you on a wing? Look at you that texture. I'm having a bit of everything. Oh, right, so well, the texture there is lovely and soft. Look at that. That looks beautiful. And it, uh, Philip, of course. After my weekend, Absolutely. you'd think I'd have had enough, but no Clotted chance. Cream. Mm. Clotted cream. And then also a little bit of strawberry sauce there as well oh, to get oh, the top. Hang on, is that the one with tarragon in it? No, no. Just, oh, right. Just normal strawberry sauce. Let me look away for you. See, I, thank goodness, the cream's the only thing that's sweet that I could not eat what? for the rest of my life. What? Cream? Clotted um, cream? Cream? Mm -hmm. No. What the hell's the oh, matter? Not interested in it. And you need that crust on top. Not interested in you. <laughs> Cheap. Oh, but my that God. That is so good. Oiliness. And it should be squidgy. Yeah. The I don't normally cook strawberries, but in that instance, it works really well. That's really I delish. Think. That is so nice. Thank you. Mm. Hello, YouTube. For more of the same, just click here. And don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. Over. There you go. Take I did it. Yes! No, don't go! <laughs> Good, Good girl. girl. Whoa, and she's <laughs> on. It's like she's anyway, got ice skates on. Oh. It's a uh, British. Hi! <laughs> that was fantastic. She took me at the angle then. <laughs> she, went, she went at the angle.